Okay. Hang on. Here, stand there. Okay, good. Awesome. After leaving our Nile boat cruise down in Aswan, we finally come up to our last day here in Egypt. We're spending a final day in Cairo. No big deal, just the Sahara Desert over here. <laughs> this is going to be basically a 14 hour sweep through the city because tonight we are flying out to Windhoek in Namibia. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a rush. I'm out of shape. <laughs> We're going to the Egyptian Museum, and we're going to the pyramids, and it should be a good time. Let's go get some food, and we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Keep going. Hey, I'm on the pyramid. <laughs> One of the things to do when you're visiting the pyramids is to walk up the pyramids and get a photo taken for yourself. I don't know why it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> this is goofy. They built steps, so it's okay. Pyramids are actually really cool. When you end up getting a little bit away from the crowds at the first area of the parking lot, you can walk a little among the second and the third ones, you can just appreciate how massive they are and just how in the middle of the desert you just are standing. We're actually at the beginning of the Sahara, so it's incredible to see a desert that stretches from here all the way to the Atlantic. Wait, look at this. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, on the second pyramid, there's like a white top of limestone. It's actually what they all used to be covered with. Just, this is the only one that still has it remains. It's pretty incredible to see and imagine them all just being covered. It's amazing just to be able to go for a walk here. Like you're just walking around, going for a walk in the desert, feels normal, and then you just look around and there are these giant pyramids. Like this one behind me. These are just incredible. And there's no one here. There's just wind whispering through the sand. And a couple of camels walking past. This is one of the coolest places I've ever gone for a walk. 10 out of 10. What is it? Koshari. Koshari. It's like noodles and rice and lentils and chickpeas and fried onions and tomato sauce. It doesn't look like you should taste it. So good. <laughs> Just want to say very delicious lunch. This place feels like a New York deli, but not New York and no deli. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> Okay, so we ended up leaving our camera behind, taking the iPhone in, taking a few shots of the Egyptian Museum. It's actually a really cool place, and it's just amazing how there's so much old stuff, and you're just walking around, and there's you know, hieroglyphics on one wall, mummies in another, you know, sarcophagus in another place. It's just all over the place, and they just have like, how many artifacts? Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of things just lying around in the different rooms. Like, this stuff is thousands of years old. Like, like, older than anything we can even comprehend coming from the States and something that we've ever seen. And I think it's just something pretty incredible, especially with how, how high quality everything is, the detail, just the intricacy of everything, both in the temples, the tombs we've seen before, and the stuff we just saw in the museum. So, pretty spectacular. Tonight, we are getting in a very long plane ride, going from here to South Africa, and then we're leaving from South Africa to Namibia. 
Gonna be a big change, but excited about it. See you tomorrow. Bye. The concierge at the Ritz heard that we were taking an overnight flight and he offered us a time in the spa where we could take some quick showers and hang out before we headed up for our flight. I don't think I've ever looked cooler than I do in this robe right now. This is pretty sweet. It's time for a shower. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.